the human species is actually the most intelligent species on the planet we all agree right and obviously like there have been plenty of inventions endless creations that we have done which has completely revolutionized this whole planet but there is a sad story behind it the sad story is that yes there are plenty of inventions but on the other hand we have not been successful in making all these inventions accessible to everyone when we talk about the technology space we always related to adjectives like futuristic vision plenty of opportunities and advancement that's fine and for example internet internet has completely revolutionized our lives it has changed our lives forever however internet also faces a huge dilemma in the form of digital divide in simple terms digital divide refers to the gap between two parties one who have the privilege of technological resources like computer systems and computer networks and on the other hand we have uh, people who don't have any access to such technologies digital divide creates a huge problem for us but fortunately there is a ray of hope and the ray of hope is this technology which not only holds the potential to tackle all the challenges in the present times but at the same time it holds the potential to tackle all the problems in the near future yes i'm talking about artificial intelligence in simple terms artificial intelligence or ai refers to the cognitive ability of computers and machines artificial intelligence has its own thinking ability but at the same time it is much more efficient when compared to human beings in performing different tasks globally artificial intelligence is growing at a phenomenal rate according to the next move strategy consulting artificial intelligence is about to go grow 20 fold times by 2030 and currently its evaluation is almost 100 billion dollars according to india forbes advisor artificial intelligence globally is expected to grow at an annual rate of 37.3% by 2030 if i talk about india then the indian artificial intelligence market is growing rapidly and it is expected to reach about 400 million dollars by 2028 now all these figures sounds promising and they give us a relief but at the same time we have not got the question to our answer in fact the answer to our question which is that how is ai actually becoming the superhero of breaking all these barriers to accessibility and is breeding new innovations well there is no such sector in today's times where ai is not playing a significant role today i'll be discussing about three sectors in brief number one is the healthcare sector well obviously healthcare sector is one of the most critical sectors we have today and ai's work on it is noteworthy from providing timely medical assistance to providing new advancements ai is everywhere in the healthcare sector it is actually helping healthcare professionals to make accurate decisions and at the same time is helping patients to get accurate diagnosis and timely deliveries there are few, there are few technologies such as uh, in fact companies such as idx technologies who have bought ai systems which are competent enough to detect diabetic retinopathy which is actually responsible for blindness it is one of the major causes of blindness in the whole world just imagine the kind of impact this can create throughout the society that's one number two is the financial sector well financial sector obviously it's a critical sector but most importantly it deals with your sensitive personal data which becomes extremely crucial and therefore negligence can't be afforded that's why fraud detection becomes extremely important and we have some prominent examples such as IBM's Watson Studio which is capable enough of actually fraud detection prevent detection and in fact it even predicts frauds that are about to happen in the near future last but not the least we have education well education sector is a very important sector why because it forms the basis for all of us and that's why exposure to ai becomes extremely important we have a lot of technology in today's times which are helping students to have some prominent experience with respect to education we have companies like newbridge international academics which are actually focusing on 
customized education. What do I mean by that? They study people, let's say a class which has 62 students. They study every single student. Every student is different, right? Based upon their strengths and weaknesses, they give them projects and homeworks. It becomes a customized way for the student to learn. There are a lot of technologies which are helping in translation of their language so they can actually learn in their native language. With all these examples, there are plenty of other industries such as legal, creative, manufacturing, business and whatnot. AI is here to stay. Therefore, we can conclude that yes, AI is removing all the barriers to disparity and is providing equal accessibility to all. But there is a catch. The catch is that getting accessibility to these technologies is one thing, but optimizing them is another. We all have internet in today's times, right? Everyone has access to the internet. But my question here is, how many of us are successful in optimizing and leveraging internet to its fullest potential? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Most of us don't know how to do it. We are not able to do it. That's why these two things are different. And to solve this problem, I have a simple framework, which is called as LIT framework. So now this LIT is not the Gen Z term LIT, but these are the acronyms LIT, where L stands for learning. Well, learning sounds simple, right? I'm not saying to just concentrate on hardcore technical skills like coding and machine learning. But more importantly, you should know how to leverage the existing technologies. For example, we all know OpenAI's magical hero, ChatGPT. We all know it, right? But again, the question, how many of us actually know how to use it and to use it to its fullest potential? We don't know. That's a basic skill that we all lack. And irrespective of whether you are from a technical or a non-technical background, we all should at least possess the skill sets to know what are the upcoming trends, how we can leverage them, and how we can use them to solve the problems in the current society. That's one. In the lit framework, I refers to intention. Now in AI, there is this famous saying that uh, the ramifications of artificial intelligence is not dependent upon AI, but it is actually dependent upon the intention of the person behind that AI. So intention becomes extremely critical. In the artificial intelligence space, there are three types of people. One, who don't know what is AI. Two, who know what is AI, but they have malice. They want to create some mischief and further on, they definitely create ruckus in the society. And third is none other than those people who know how to use AI, but they are responsible enough while using it. Therefore, being mindful while using AI becomes extremely important. You should always remember there's a slight difference between an ethical hacker and a black hat hacker. Only the intention is the difference between both of them. Last but not the least is T and it's time. Now the easier it sounds, the harder it is to understand the magnitude of it. In today's times, everything is changing rapidly. It's a super fast world. For example, yesterday was metaverse, today is artificial intelligence and tomorrow there might be something else. In fact, OpenAI recently has just announced that they are working on this huge project called Super Intelligence, which will surpass artificial intelligence as well. But now my question is, are we ready? Or are our skills getting redundant again and again? See, just like your mobile phone, which gets updated after every, let's say, a few weeks, a few months, it is our sole responsibility to get updated again and again with the upcoming trends. Gone are those days where you can just be complacent enough with your current skill sets. No, I'm sorry. With every month, every week, every year, things are changing rapidly. And as students, as working professionals, it's our priority to be up to date with the current trends. This LIT framework, yes, it creates a simple job for students and professionals and acts as a torchbearer for at least giving them a head start giving them a start as to know what exactly AI is and how can we leverage it. But at the same time, I always say, AI is a double-edged sword. And the result of it will only depend upon your preparation. Therefore, to conclude, I would just like to mention this famous dialogue of the movie Spider-Man, which says, with great powers comes great responsibility. In this case, this great power is AI. 
we all have this great power but again we have to be mindful enough and it is our responsibility to use this power for the betterment of mankind thank you